Are you struggling to rank higher in Google? Well, you're not alone. But what if I told you there's a free tool that can skyrocket your organic traffic? Google Search Console's packed with SEO hacks that a lot of people miss. Now, today we're going to be unlocking the secrets of Google Search Console. But before we dive in, be sure to subscribe to the channel so you'll never miss a Monster Insights video. All right, let's jump right into the first Google Search Console hack that can boost your SEO. All right, first, we're going to look at how to improve the click-through rate of your landing pages. Now, Google Search Console is pretty cool because it shows you how many people are clicking on your website in search results. It also tells you which pages and keywords need some SEO love. Now, to find your click-through rate, open Google Search Console and click on the Search Results tab in the left. Then click on Average CTR and Average Position to add them to the report. All right, now scroll down to the table and click the Pages tab. Then see the click-through rate of specific pages on your site. Now to see which queries rank your site for each page, just click on a page in the table, and then click back to the Queries tab, and look for keywords that rank your site on the first page of search results and get a lot of impressions, but they don't have a good click-through rate. Now, once you find them, there are several things that you can try. For example, improving your titles, your meta descriptions, and URLs. And you can optimize your post and try to capture featured snippets. Plus, you can try to be sure that your titles and meta descriptions are matching your user's search intent. Now, if you want to see an easy way to see your Search Console queries right on your WordPress dashboard, well, just use Monster Insights. It gives you a report with your top search terms, how many clicks that they got, impressions, CTR, and where they typically rank. Cool, right? Now, for more help improving your click-through rate, check out our detailed guide on more interesting ways of improving your CTR in five minutes or less. Next, we're going to optimize your nearly there keywords. Keywords that almost rank well or low-hanging fruit with potential for even more traffic. Now, you can find them in your Search Console report and turn on Average CTR and Average Position. Then, scroll down to the table and then click on the Filter icon. Now, just choose Position from the drop-down. And next, in the drop-down above the table, choose Greater Than and type in 7. Now this report is going to give you a list of keywords that are ranking in position 7 or above. Now you will just need to look for search terms that get a lot of impressions but are too low to get many clicks. You can improve the ranking by focusing on optimizing on-page SEO like their keyword density, readability, and optimizing your title and meta descriptions with a target keyword. Now while you're diving into WordPress SEO, we've got a perfect tool for you, the All-in-One SEO Plugin. It's got this cool feature where you can see what your competitors are up to by checking out their pages. And you can give your chosen keywords a quick Google search and then snoop on the top 10 results. Now, you might just pick up some really good tricks to beef up your content and make it shine even brighter. Next, we're going to look at how to find new content ideas. Now, using Google Search Console search results report is like diving into a treasure trove of fresh content ideas. You can peek into what's hitting the mark in Google and get a solid grip on what your audience is craving. But it's basically a cheat code for figuring out what topics to explore next. Plus, it's not just about creating new stuff. You can also give your existing content a makeover. Take your top performing pages and give them a new spin for different platforms. And if you're using WordPress and Monster Insights, your top landing pages are just a click away on your WordPress dashboard. Super easy. All right, now we're going to identify some new keyword opportunities. Now, if you're wanting to give your website a boost, well, besides creating some fresh content, well, you can also discover some new keywords. Just take a look at the queries report to see which types of keywords are driving the most traffic. Now, if those how-to and info keywords are getting all the attention, well, you can add in a few more. And then fire up a tool like SimRush or Ubersuggest to find related phrases that you might be missing out on. Toss them into your articles and whip up something new to attract even more visitors. Piece of cake. All right, now let's talk about completing your sales funnel. Now, while you're finding some new keywords for your site using Search Console, well, you should also look for some that complete your sales funnel. Now, there are four types of keywords, navigational, informational, investigational, and transactional. Informational keywords are great for answering questions, but it's also important to focus on investigational and transactional keywords that lead to making a purchase. 
Along with informational keywords, you should also target investigational and transactional keywords like product reviews and feedback. Now, these keywords are going to hint that someone's more likely to buy something and they can be found in the Search Console reports. For example, an informational keyword for a paint company might be how to paint your front door, whereas an investigational keyword might be what kind of paint to use for a front door. And a transactional keyword might be something like best paint for a wood door. All right, now it's time to work on those Core Web Vitals. So you've heard about Core Web Vitals, right? It's basically a way to measure how speedy your website is. Google loves it when your site's fast, so it's worth paying attention to these scores. Now, if your site's performance is a little bit sluggish, it could end up lower in search results, which is not really what you want. Google Search Console has a Core Web Vitals report that can give you some pointers on how to improve your scores. Give it a look and make some changes to make your site faster and SEO friendlier. All right, now let's talk about something you don't hear that often, optimizing your mobile keywords. Google Search Console allows you to filter keywords based on devices too. Now using that report, you can find keywords that people use to find your website on mobile. Now to do that, just head back to your search performance tab and click on new above the graph to add a new filter. Then click on device. Now you can choose to view just data from one specific device or compare two of them. Now, why is that important? That's because making your website work well on phones and computers and using the right keywords for each device is a smart move. It's going to help users, and it's going to help you find more keywords that people are using and searching for, which can bring more people to your site. Focusing on mobile versions of your site can be a big SEO advantage, especially since Google has a mobile-first policy. Now, let's talk about increasing your rankings by improving your internal links. If you want to know how internal links affect your site's rankings, well, here's a trick. Compare the number of internal links on the pages that you want to rank higher with other pages. And keep an eye out for blog posts with more internal links that rank higher. Google Search Console, just go to links near the bottom of the navigation. And at the bottom of internal links box on the right, select more. It's then going to show you the pages with the most internal links on your site. Now, click on the filter icon and select Target Page, and then enter the URL of the page that you want to improve. Or you could use the Link Assistant add-on from All-in-One SEO. It's like a super smart report card for your internal links. It's going to show you things like orphan pages and new linking opportunities, too. What about finding new backlink opportunities? Google Search Console can help you to find websites that are linking back to yours. Now, these backlinks are really good for SEO, and they're basically like a thumbs up for your website from Google when it's trying to decide where to rank you in results. Now, you can use the external links report in Google Search Console to find those. To find that report, just head back to links in their navigation and click the more link at the bottom of the top linking sites box. Now you should see a list of domains that are linking back to your site. Now, some of these domains might be willing to give you another shout out, especially if they've done that in the past. Now click on any of these domains to see the specific links that they've provided. Now, if you're interested in gathering new backlinks, start by exploring the top external linking websites in your report. Take a look at the content that they're sharing and see if it lines up with your interests. Then reach out by direct email or contacting the author or editor through their contact form. Now let's talk about creating rich results. In Google Search, rich results can show extra stuff. So you can put code on your site, tell Google about your products, like how much they cost, how good they are, what they do. Rich snippets can also be used for things like reviews, frequently asked questions, and tutorials too. Now if you want to learn more about how to set up rich snippets in WordPress, just check out the link in the description to how to add rich snippets to WordPress the easy way. Google Search Console gives you a heads up on pages that have rich snippets and any problems that they can come up with. You can look at those pages that already have rich snippets and get alerts about any issues that might pop up in the future. Now in the overview tab, scroll down to the bottom to see enhancements. Now you can click on any of your enhancement types to see more data on them, such as any pages throwing an error, and a full list of pages with the enhancements. You can use the report to find other pages or products that you can optimize and help search engines pick them up as rich results. This is going to help you boost your organic traffic too.
Here we are at our last one, monitoring and comparing the changes that you've made. To keep tabs on how well your article improvements are working, it's a really good idea to make a spreadsheet to track the changes and when you made them. Give Google some time, around 10 to 14 days, to crawl and index the changes and to see how things are going. Compare the data in Google Search Console from before and after you made those changes. If the number of people clicking on your keywords and the amount of traffic go up, well, that's a good sign that improvements are really working. And if you're using WordPress, well, you can just install Monster Insights to keep track of your traffic right inside WordPress. And you can even take notes on those changes that you've made to remind yourself when you made those changes and what they were. Now you've got the lowdown on how to use Google Search Console for some serious SEO boosts. Now with those tips, you're going to start boosting your organic traffic. For more about organic traffic, check out Organic Search in Google Analytics Quick Start Guide. Now, if you found this breakdown on how to use Google Search Console for SEO helpful, well, just go ahead and smash that like button and hit subscribe for more tips for understanding your website's performance. Up next, you'll definitely want to check out this video where I show you how to add Google Search Console to WordPress and Google Analytics 4.